Hey y'all, <clears throat> it's me again, Valerie, and welcome to my yarn room. And today, I'm not going to be doing any crochet, I'm going to be talking about crochet. Um, I want to talk about the things that I have done this week. Okay. Excuse me, I have not sewed in my ends, so I got I got little strings hanging. <laughs> it's okay though. Um all right, uh the past couple of days I've been talking about making um a shrug. Well, I wanted to show you one on me. It looks better on me than it does on my dress form, which by the way, congratulations to my cousin, Tracy, who named my dress form. The new name of it is Jenny B. She chose that name because I said to choose a name between my mother and my granny, my mama's mama. And I said that their names were Virginia and Hazel. Okay. My mom, Virginia, very seldom does anybody call her Virginia. Most everybody who knows her real good calls her Jenny. So, that's the first name of my dress form, Jenny. And my granny, her name was Hazel, but her middle name was Beatrice. And so my cousin Tracy decided to put those two names together and come up with one name for my dress form to honor both women. And the name is Jenny B. From my mom and my granny. Well, I got to thinking. Another female in my life, um, <clears throat> inspired me and supported me and taught me a whole lot about crochet and she happens to be the only person that I can just talk and talk and talk and talk about crochet and she never once says, oh yeah, let me guess, crochet, or zones out and stops listening, or whatever. <laughs> she listens, and she talks to me, talks back with me about crochet, because, well, I think, honestly, she might not crochet as much as I do anymore. She used to. But, um, I, th I think she loves crochet just as much as I do. And that's my cousin, Tracy. She is, I guess you would say, my best friend other than my husband. My husband is my definite number one best friend. But my cousin Tracy is probably my go-to on just about everything. If I need to talk or vent, I call her. So, I have right here a mannequin head. By the way, my mom gave me that mannequin head. Yeah, and I wouldn't have the dress form without my cousin Tracy. Okay, 
But see, I don't call her Tracy. Well, I do, but I nicknamed her a long time ago, TT. I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why. But capital T, period, capital T, period. TT. That's going to be the name of my mannequin head. And by the way, that, that bucket hat on it is from um, Crystal at uh, Bag O'Day Crochet. Absolutely love her. Been watching her for a long time. And the tank top right here. Um, that is from Crystal at Bag of Day Crochet. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the name of my mannequin head is now going to be TT. After my cousin, who I wouldn't even have this channel. I wouldn't know hardly anything at all about crochet without her. I would go to her house and she would sit down and she would teach me different stitches and um, stuff like that. And I didn't even know there was videos about crochet on YouTube until she told me, after she had taught me quite a bit, she told me, well, you need to go on YouTube and she wrote down a couple of uh, names of different podcasters teaching crochet and stuff and, and told me just check them out. So, I did. Anyway, so, TT and Jenny B. And I would like to say thank you to God rest her soul. She's done passed away. But my granny and I would like to say thank you to my mother Virginia and I would like to say thank you to my cousin Tracy aka TT back to the matter at hand the shrug this will tell you whether you actually want to make this or not. Um, I, I absolutely love it. I think it's a wonderful uh, nighttime spring shrug because it just goes over your back and your shoulders, kind of like a shawl would. But with this, you ain't got to worry about keeping on pulling it up over you and pulling it up over you. It stays. And you ain't gonna worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to put this on on camera. Okay. Uh, it goes on a little tight. But once it's on, I think it's gorgeous. And that's all it is. It goes around behind your neck, under your arms, and across your back. And you got little short sleeves to keep your shoulders and the top part of your arm warm. And then in the back, it just comes down halfway. So you're not worried about sitting on it and stuff like that. I think it's wonderful and very, very cute. Okay, so we're going to take this off because it's not exactly cool today. It's um, probably about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already outside about, oh, I'd say about 87 degrees <laughs> here in Virginia in the United States. So, yeah. All right, well, this tank top from Crystal at Bag O'Day Crochet, I wore it to a family get-together. Um, 
my dad took everybody out to eat at one time got every, got as many as uh, as many of us that could because there were some that couldn't make it due to uh, children's activities or um, having to work or no transportation um, stuff like that so there was some that wasn't able to make it but got as many of us together as they could and we all went out to eat and my my dad paid for everybody for our birthdays that was our birthday present is we went out to eat well i wore this tank top with uh, um a black uh almost like a t uh, spaghetti strap little tank top bodysuit type thing under it because it, it does got holes in it. Don't want to wear it without something under it. Don't nobody want to see that. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. I, I, done, I done lost it. <laughs> um, my niece my, my sister's daughter, um, she fell in love with my, my tank top and wanted me to make her one. So I said, well, I love to crochet. Why not? Um, y'all get the yarn and get it to me or I'll come pick it up, whatever. And, um, I'll make it. So, I'm going to show you what I got so far. Now, this one was made with Premier Everyday Anti-Peeling. I don't know the color name. I'm not going to dig and try to find. Yeah. Not going to do that. <clears throat> and the, the bucket hat, it was made with... Um, big twist cotton in the Americano colors. The the red, white, and blue variegated. And um, it took because they're, they're small skins. I'd say it took um, maybe three of them to make this. And it, I love that pattern. Crystal was amazing. Okay, this is what I've got so far on my niece's tank top like this. Now, I'm a much bigger woman than her. Much bigger. She is a teeny tiny little thing. Got, got the figure of an angel. <laughs> so I had to do some altering. And this is what I got so far. Ain't so demands. And I got quite a few more rows to go. But so far, I think it's looking good. Shh. Don't tell her. I don't know if she knows what she's getting or not. <laughs> I think she might watch this. <laughs> Anyway, now, this one's made with um, a number four worsted weight yarn, and the one I'm making for her, it's made with the Red Heart Amagurumi, which the tag says that it's a number one. But, if you've watched one of my previous videos, it is the exact same size as a number three. Don't always pay attention to your labels. They can be wrong. Okay, 
Um, I still have not gotten my other package from Hobie. And I'm getting a little bit concerned. The last tracking information that I got was that it was still in transit and um, that it was expected to be late. And that was done on um, May the 31st. Yeah, and today is... It's about midway through June, and I still haven't gotten any kind of update on it getting to a new facility or anything like that. Yeah. So, I might be having to stay up late or get up extremely early and make a phone call to Denmark. Because this is getting ridiculous. I made the order at the exact same time, in the same order, and I've already gotten part of the order, and the other part of the order is MIA. Don't know. Anyway. Um, let's see. We're talking about things that I have made this week. So, um, I've been working on the tank top for my niece. Um, let's see. I've made two of the shrugs in the same color. I'm getting ready to make a third one. I need to make another small medium. Um, let's see. I've been working up a lot. I have made a whole bunch of um, hair scrunchies. And I've been making kid-sized belts. Those are going to be in upcoming tutorials on how to make those things. Stay tuned. Oh, I bought a plant for my room. Oh. My phone come undone. Let me get this back in frame. Yeah, close enough. All right, um, that's gonna be all for today. Hopefully, I will get my Hobie order and be able to show that soon. I really don't want to have to call Denmark or complain to the Postal Service, which it's being mailed by USPS, which it stands for United States Postal Service. Okay. I'm wishing now that I would have just paid the extra and got it delivered by DHL. I've, I've ordered from them before. And they split the order, same order, they split it. They say that it, it cuts down on shipping costs to split the order into smaller packages. I don't know. I don't ship things. But, um, I just, the order that I ordered before, they split it, and I got one. And then it wasn't, not even, I don't think, a week later, and I got the other package. So, no big deal. I was like, oh, okay, I can deal with that. It is coming from another country. But then this time, it's like, hello, where's my package? Can somebody give me some kind of information? <laughs> I don't like paying for things and then having to wait. I want it when I want it. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about today. I'll show it when I get it. I'm excited because, well, I've never gotten hubby cakes before. Anyway, 
see you when I see you. Bye, y'all.